Camping World customers are asking for answers. Monday morning I get a call from the service department wanting me to pay. They told me right off the bat that they weren't liable for this. Camping World is back in the news. This time is regarding some questionable service or lack of service with their customers. Now this is regarding an incident on Friday, September 22nd that took place in East Ridge, Tennessee. So we're bringing you some RV news today. As Izzy said, this took place in East Ridge, Tennessee. This is according to local3news.com. This was the camping world in East Ridge, Tennessee, and there was a large fire there where quite a few RVs completely burned to the ground. The whole place, yeah, the whole place burned down. And customers are saying that the Camping World is refusing to pay for any damages that happened to their RVs. So Alan Gilbert, who brought his camper into Camping World for repairs, he had a total loss of his mm -hmm. RV. Uh, he said he got a call Saturday morning that the building had burned down and his camper was a total loss. The bigger problem is that Gilbert was living in his camper full time and he also does seasonal work for national and state parks. So that's part of his income or at least alleviates whatever cost for rent or just staying. As many of you know or may not know, when you are a work camper, a lot of the times one of the requirements is that you have to provide your own self-contained RV. That's kind of part of the deal. But I've got to have a trailer to get those jobs because they don't furnish you a place to stay. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this summer. So. so Mr. Gilbert said that since the fire, Camping World management has not been helpful at all in resolving anything. And he said, quote, they told me right off the back that they weren't liable for this, that my insurance would have to pay. I called corporate because there's no sense in calling these people here because they can't do anything. Corporate said the same thing. It's up to us. Your insurance will have to pay for it. We are not held liable on it. Another customer, Charles, I don't know how Milliken. you say it. Milliken. Milliken. He's in the same boat. He said his trail was in the process of being repaired before it caught fire. Monday morning, he got a call from the service department wanting him to pay for the repair. This is even better. They wanted to pay for the repair that is supposedly done before it burned. In his words, he's, I said, well, I'll come over there and write you a check, but let me check with my insurance company for it. I can't even believe they, at, like, I, that I, would, can't, I can't even imagine the answer I would have gave them know, something I mean, like that. And if you've watched the news story and the way he said it, I was like, this guy is so sweet. He said, okay, <laughs> I'll come write you a check. He's definitely thought, not from Jersey. No, no, I felt really bad for him. I get a call from the service department wanting me to pay for the repair that they had supposedly done before it burned. So I said, well, let, I said, I'll come over and write you a check, but let me check with the insurance company first. He also said that no one apologized for what happened. That's mind blowing to me. It's, yeah. um, he said, I mean, I'm covered. My insurance company will pay for it, but I don't feel like it's right for my insurance company to pay for something that occurred with them. It's their fault. Whatever started the fire, it certainly wasn't me or these insurance companies. Now, there is some legal question whether or not Camping World is responsible for it or not. We're not attorneys, so we're not going to really comment on that. If you are, put stuff in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts as we're going through this. Local attorney Jay Kenimer with the McMahon Law Firm said, if the fire was caused due to negligence by Camping World, the owners, meaning Camping World, could be held liable. It's not clear could. what... Not clear what caused the fire at this time, uh, and they're working to learn how that fire was started. The reason why we did this video is Camper World seems to be a lot of times in the news uh, regarding customer service. It's not, not by us. I mean, you can Google Camping World and read about their customer service. Now, whether they are responsible or not, Camping World is the biggest by far RV dealership in the country. They are a publicly traded company. We don't know how many RVs were actually lost. No, they didn't say. But man, you would hope they do the right thing, right? Like I you, mean, they, they have millions and millions of dollars. Uh, no, I think they're worth much billions more. Billions, maybe. Yeah. yeah, and if they lost even, you know, five, ten RVs, do the right thing. We don't know the exact circumstance. Camping World was not available for right. comment, according to Local 3 they, News. Yeah, they, they tried to reach out to them. But a couple important things that you can learn. Listen, this fire could have happened anywhere. We don't know how the fire started. We don't know if it was their fault or not. It doesn't matter. Number one, whenever you take your RV somewhere, you're at their mercy, right? Mm -hmm. Whether that is how they fix your RV, 
whether it's left out like keys that we've we've read you know keys left in rvs have gotten stolen how people treat it you buy an rv you are buying into that dealership it doesn't end when you drive off that dealership it is so important guys depending where you buy an rv if you buy it from a dealership one place might be a little bit cheaper but in the long run buying into a dealership that's going to do the right thing for you is worth every penny mm -hmm. the next thing that we're going to say is to make sure that you have enough insurance to cover the cost of that rv hopefully these people wouldn't have to use it but they don't we don't know yet yeah but you need to know your policy do is your policy going to pay what the value of the rv is because the value may be less than what you owe mm -hmm. Or are they going to pay what you actual pay for that or like a replacement? Like, right. That's an important thing to know. There's plenty of insurance companies out there which would kind of make it a point that either you have a lot of equity in that or have the appropriate coverage. Really important, guys, because you never know. Like who would have thought that? You drop off and, oh, oh, by the way, you owe this amount of money and uh, the pile of ashes over there, that's right. your RV. Right. <laughs> just, that's but but you crazy. have to pay for the service that was <laughs> yeah. done on it before it went up in flames yeah not funny but just funny no. like it's I, just I feel, crazy i feel horrible for these that. people and again why if you watch the news story guys it's local3news.com we'll put, we'll put some clips in here yeah i mean this poor guy was just well i you know i called my insurance like he he was i think he just felt like a victim like he had to do it mm -hmm. you know but they are hopefully speaking to attorneys and seeing what their options are. So in the comments below, let us know, have you dealt with Camping World or any other dealership where you felt you got screwed or taken advantage of? Put it in the comments below. If you like videos like this, guys, we're also gonna put an interesting video regarding Camping World. We'll link it at the end of this video. You're gonna to wanna to watch that if you like this type of video. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.